Haleluya. So, nilisema mashule zinafunguliwa January. So I said that schools will reopen in January. But I'm seeing something that our government is doing that negates the place of honoring God. It is not the devil that is behind corona pandemic. It was never the devil. It is was a judgment. And the best thing that you can ever do is to humble ourselves before the Lord Most High. So, mashule kufungwa na hali ambazi metuwa thiri. Iso hali, amuna shetena likuwa ndani. Bwana asfiwe. It is the judgment from the Lord. Na ikaguza dunia mzima. Hata muta ambaye ni msome sana, atajua hapa siyo shetani. It was, it was the Lord's doing. Na alizo munga litaka watu wageuze mkondo na macho yao warudi kwa mungu. Mana madambi ya wanaadami maungezeka sana. So wakati shule zinaenda kufunguliwa I mean, zinataka kufunguliwa pasipo kuhusisha serikali, I mean, kuhusisha uh, mungu na watimishu wa mungu. Ni hali ambayo itafanya serikali gonge muamba sana. So I rebuke the government purporting to want to reopen schools without engaging God, without engaging servants of God. You shall hit the rock. Schools are not going to be reopened in September or in October, November or December. No. So if they want to challenge my word, so we'll see. And I'll say it so as a prophet of God. Nilipiana hiyo maana mga liniambia Corona makali ya kitaanza kupungua September Now this is what is happening in September So Kenyan judgment on the Corona pandemic In Asia this September To lift up Lakini tusishangilia sana because Bado Kenya na dunia mzima kuna huku mambazo zinangojia So we'll have some strange things that will stay coming but unless intercessors pray. Unless the church prays. Nikasema kuna judgment ya mapasta, judgment ya intercessors, judgment ya worshippers, judgment ya waimbaji, judgment ya serikal. And the government is passing through judgment. Those of us who have been looking at the prophets I've shared, you shall be able to confirm these prophecies. So this one of reopening or purporting to want to reopen schools, Nisawana is just like uh, thumping your chest. Anybody thumping chest, whether you are a cabinet minister or no cabinet minister, you are trying to challenge God. You can also circumvent the judgment. So let's humble ourselves as a nation. We humble ourselves as a church, as servants of God. Na tuende style ya Tanzania, where magufuli the president, and he organized mak, uh, watimishi wa mungu na makanisa zote, and he organized a, a day of prayer for the nation. Wanasiwe. And that's what Kenya ought to do. Let's learn from uh, the mistakes we have made. Let's learn as a nation to do what is right. If we go minus God, we shall suffer greater casualties. We shall waste a lot of money, a lot of resources, and there will be a lot of fallout. So I challenge and I, I want to, to, to rebuke us. At the same time, exhort us to regard the place of fearing God as a nation. And God will have mercy on us. Hallelujah. Now, Natumia Nafasi Kutangaza, that Kenya is going to face hunger and drought after Corona. And that's what God said. So, if Kenya does not pray, then this shall happen. Tutakuwa nanja, hi mahindi munaona hi kuipati takuwa bala. Tutakuwa nanja ke. The next three and a half to four years, we shall still face a lot of hardship and struggle. The effect of God's chastisement. 
but God will still preserve the righteous. Na watu walio wenye haki mkianza kulala lala msi tumainie Mungu mtajipata mnalia kama wasio haki. That's the word of God. Kwa hiyo I've rallied us to pray. Last week sometime on Thursday God gave me a word for the nation Kenya. And the one that God gave me is this that this government will not hold to the end of its term. There will be great fallouts plus in the ruling uh, coalition. Bwana akasema hivyo. Then ikaonyesha matukio ambazo itakuwa ni kama kafio tena mapigano na fujo na polisi na vitengo vya usalama kwa mwango wa barabarani maeneo kwa ajili ya fujo ambazo zitatokea kwa ajili za uchaguzi so I've shown that we shall have bloodshed and I've been repeating this one this warning over time and we shall see like our politicians will appear to have forgotten that we have been going through crisis of corona and covid-19 watajifanya wamesahau hatari iliyoko the danger that we as a nation are facing there are two fates and this word god has given me over time that if kenya fails to pray and their prayer iombwe sawa sawa we shall elect a novice or a green horn for a king na hatimaye kenya tutalia sana because ukichagua tukifanya makosa ya kuchagua chago lile ambalo uh, uh, litatokana maombezi kenya itakuwa sawa sawiana na uongozi ambao uliongozwa na rehoboam mwana wa sulaimani Sulaimani alipokufa mwana wake anaitwa Rehoboam alichukua ushukani na Rehoboam aliuliza ushauri kwa watu wa vijana akamwambia kwanza akauliza wazee wazee kwa mshauri kwamba utaenenda kwa upole endeleza kile ambacho baba yako alifanya nini aliendeleza wakamshauri kwa hekima kwa vile alikuwa ni kijana yoyo natumia hiyo kwa sababu ya watu wa shehe akaamua kuhusisha marafiki zake kwa uliza na nyinyi mnaonaje niongoze style ya baba yangu ama mwana style nyingine ni vipi nitashughulika na maadui wa nchi hii so Rehoboam consulted the young men as to how he should deal with the um, uh, with the enemies of his kingdom initially he consulted the old men and he took their their counsel then he compared their counsel with the counsel of the young people who are his friends his age mates his his age mates told him that this is how you will have to deal with your enemies you shall be hard on them you shall revenge against them you shall thrash them and never go soft on them those are my words but the scripture talks about the real dealing as to how Rehoboam was to deal with his enemies how his leadership should be kambi ukishika madaraka kangum kalia ngum then deal na watu kwa ukali na ulipiza kisasi now when the lord reveals to me when the lord gave me this word that the that the leader that will lead kenya after uhuru finishing if we won't have really prayed alright then the fate of electing a president who will have the attributes of rehoboam will be real 
na hata kanyaga watu nikaonyesha ni nani huyo and i'm not revealing the person now because we know how kenya is volatile ya uganda nimesema uganda m7 goes back to presidency will continue uh, kagame nimetangaza he will sail smoothly in his leadership even as he aspires for another term then tanzania nimetangaza kwamba nimefuliwa tundu lisu hata fua daf magufuli atarejelea ataendeleza uongozi wake tena however in the future tundu lisu will bounce back the same will happen to uganda baada ya msebeni kuondoka the opposition will, will take over ya kenya is a dice one nimeshikilia nisiseme sana because of the fabric the weak fabric that is very tribal in our nation however the president nilionyesha mai if kenya we don't pray proper and if the church meddles in taking sides then we shall have one of the presidents ambaye atalipiza kisasi kenya I want to go deeper because I know some wise people can really get where I'm going get to know. Nikaonyesha rais huyo anakomandia polisi na kuambia wakae ngumu na kuchapa watu barabarani. Because there will be there will be a lot of rioting, there will be a lot of upheaval uh, in run up to general election and after general election. There will be bloodshed tena Kenya. Now that's the what will happen if Kenya intercessors go to slumber and to sleep. So why are we praying? Tunaomba kwamba aliyo Mungu atuondolee because it's part of judgment for Kenya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now because I'm a father and I'm a husband and I have spiritual sons and biological sons I have been investor in this nation. I have invested heavily. Namlelia Mungu kwamba aliyo isifanyike. Now, those who really value Kenya, na wangetaka aliyo ifanyike. We have rallied prayers for 100 days beginning on October 1st. So October 1, October 1st through to December 31st kuna watu ambao Christmas na kupata una fast why are we going to do so because of our nation Kenya hallelujah we know that there are people who won't want to pray we know that there are people who would care to pray but some of us will be praying for this nation then i'm rallying those who want to join me na kanisa letu hili ni pia naomba si lazimishi then my ministry partners and those servants of god who also recognize the anointing of god in my life and take this word serious we shall join hands in prayers hallelujah so 100 days of prayer so it will be prayer chain it will be a, a chain and prayer fasting by in anza so someone has achukua siku mbili siku tatu siku moja every week for 14 weeks so we shall have 14 weeks of prayer So kila mtu chagua siku yako send to me as a church send to me on our platform we want to rally 100 intercessors na katika hali ya kuomba maombi hayo utakuwa unajumuisha maombezi pia ya familia yako jamii kazi huduma but of essence we are praying God to have mercy on Kenya and so that prayer move is inter, uh, intercessors Uh, inter, 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 intercessory what did we could name it can someone shout for me we could named it intercessors for kenya uh bonus we intercessors uh, intercessory prayer watch for kenya intercessory prayer watchers for kenya intercessor intercessory prayer watchers for for kenya so utafanya maombezi hayo jalishi kanisa lako just uh, join us on our takwana sumuza pia 
live occasionally nikifundishana maombeza to lead prayers for our nation when this government came into power we camped on this field we took time to pray so we shall continue prayers again as the nation turns so it's a very prophetic moment so we need prophetic um, prophetic prayers as the government turns as the mantle passes from the current president to the next president hallelujah hallelujah so let's regard that one in jesus name kuna hali ambazo pia as a nation we have to pray because of the hunger that i have said famine that is coming sasa hivi ni mafuriko when that one is done tutaona kiangazi ambao hatukuwahi kuona and we've been receiving warning but it's like we're not prepared i wish that in our government we had economists like joseph people who can see far and advise the king proper of what to do pharaoh was a alerted of hunger and famine that will befall Egypt at that time god warned him through a dream and a vision and um, joseph found his way before the king because of his gift as a wise man an interpreter of dreams and visions and he interpreted the king's vision and dream and he advised the king on what to do and the king mandated Joseph to be the one that will be in charge of rescuing the nation when hunger will strike for the next 7 years they gathered harvests 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 the next 7 years when there were hunger and famine is Joseph by the wisdom of God who was in charge of preserving uh, Egypt and of course Israel so we pray that may the lord grant that there be a lot of josephs economists will advise the government in regard to the coming pandemics hunger drought and famine hallelujah hallelujah and that is the word that the lord has given me for kenya usa as i said kwamba Donald Trump will again continue his presidency and it is so because God has chosen him why for the assignment that America has America is facing judgment and therefore because of God's mercies of America and because of the agenda that God has because of the intercessors in America and the global Um, the global world Trump will remain president he shall win the elections come november bana sfiwe and that shall be in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah may the lord bring to pass his word and confirm the word of his servant the prophets and also the pa- the performance of his counsel as a messenger so i'm just a messenger the lord shall confirm my words in the fullness of time